Hello everyone, uh, welcome to a new tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering how to add a book to the to the Firebase uh, database, to the Firestore database. And in this case if you go to add book and you type something and click submit, uh, nothing happens. So you go to the, there is nothing here so you haven't added a document or anything like that. So we're going to be taking care of that logic. And um, yeah, let's just dive right into it. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get rid of the book model here in the nav bar. So we won't have it there anymore. So we'll just move it somewhere else. And we'll just go to app.js. And as you can see, it's gone here. And we're going to import it here. So let's just say book modal. Let's see if it's going to pick it up. No. All right. So it, did, it didn't get imported. So I'm going to have to import it manually. So if you just, uh, I'm just going to copy this one. And then just change it a little bit. So say book modal. And I know it's in the your components modal oh that's not the one and then this one is gonna be called book modal alright so now I got import and as you can see here it's gonna appear um, on the main page alright so let me just uh, let's just put it in the middle so go to the book modal you can close the nav bar here go to the book modal and this is the button that we have so we'll just say uh, we'll just wrap it in a container And then we'll just say uh, class name. And then we'll just center it. So text, center. All right. Now it's going to appear here. Cool. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is, uh, well, let's stay in book modal. And we're going to create a new, we're going to manage the state of the, of the book details. So we're going to create uh, you know something that uh, we're gonna use uh, use a state once again and we're gonna create something that says book details and then set book details so these are gonna take care of the state of the of the details that we're gonna add uh, through the form here this is just gonna have like you know the initial state of all the fields that we have in the form for instance uh, so if you don't remember the fields you can go to Firestore and you can see so these are the fields that we have in the form so title summary posted on posted on finished on e edition and author so we'll just have all those fields excluding the posted on because we're going to do something with that one and I'll show you in a little bit well let's take care of the rest of the fields so title author edition we also have finished on well summary and that's the last one All right, so that's good. So that's the initial state of uh, of this, right? Which is going to be book details. So the ne and the next thing that we want to do is we want to come where the form is, and we're going to add two two more things here. So it's one is going to be the name, and it's going to be title because this is the book title. And for author, it's going to be author, and so forth and so on. And then we're also going to add the value, and the value is going to be the following. It's going to be book details which is right now it's this book details that title so the corresponding one right and then we're gonna we're gonna handle the change so once the user comes to the app and starts typing something that's gonna bind it's not gonna bind it until we submit the the form but it's gonna be you know detecting that there is a change in the field and then we're gonna bind it to the value that we're setting here all right, so we'll do this for all the fields with the respective uh, names. So that's uh, that was title. So this one is for the author. Change that, and you can take care of the indentation later if you want to. All right, so let's do the same thing for all of them. So this is the last one, which is summary. And now we're gonna set a new function, which is gonna be called handle change. And then for this one, we'll say something like E. So we'll say E that persist. Just gonna take care of, uh, you know, when we're typing in here. Nothing here. All right. So we'll say book details. And we're just gonna set this to to the old state here. So we'll say old state. And I, and I'll explain what what I'm doing here. So. 
let me just uh, finish the, uh, typing this right so pretty much what we're saying here is that we're gonna set the state of book details to whatever the user is typing and then we're just gonna well I made a mistake here this should say um, name yes because we want to so we're gonna change the state of book details and then whatever the user is typing in whatever field they're typing so let's say that they're typing the title of the book that's gonna be tied to the to the value as well and the value refers to book details that title which is what we have here and let's just save it and the next thing that we wanna do and I'll show you what I mean is we need to pass the function here so we'll say handle change oh no never mind we'll say on change on change we'll say handle the change right which is the function that we just created here alright so let me just pass this to all the fields and once again you can take care of the indentation later alright so let, let me just uh, save it and one more thing that I want to do I want you to see uh, you know how the state changes so we'll just say book details and we'll see it on the console that one there alright so now if we come here let's see if it's gonna work so let's go to add jobs and let me pull up the console and once we type something we should be able to see how it changes here so as you can see the title is changing and that's because it's bound it's bound to to the value right so this field is bound to the value now and you see whatever you change it's gonna change so that's exactly what we want alright so the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna be able to submit so let's go to app.js and here we're gonna create a new well let me just create it after this so we'll create like a post uh, book which is gonna be like a new uh, function and this is gonna be an asynchronous call but here we're gonna have book details we'll say await that well await firestore because we want to access firestore collection and which collection we're accessing well the books one and then we'll use the function add because we want to add something right and here we'll say um, alright and here we'll have some uh, we'll have the object which is book details and we'll spread it so here this is gonna have you know the title the author uh, the summary the finished on and all of those fields and another thing that we're doing here is the following so we're gonna create a we'll say const time we'll set this to date that now alright so this is gonna give me the date of now or the time of now so whatever time it is so August uh, 2nd uh, 3 6 and we're also gonna pass that here as a it's gonna be the posted on field it's gonna be this so we can do something like this and that's gonna work so that's gonna you know submit all the fields that we had uh, which are you know the title the author all of these fields and also an extra field with which we also have in the fire store which is the um, the posted on which is a timestamp right but if we do it in this way this is gonna submit the time in in milliseconds so it's not gonna look uh, good so we're not gonna do that but I'll show you um, how to format this so let me just copy paste this because I have some work here and it's really long but uh, you can just type on the internet how to format you know the time and then uh, search for uh, how you want the time to look and then you should be able to get it so this is what we want so we're just gonna format the time in this way so we're gonna get uh, you know the year it's gonna be numeric uh, month day and so forth and so on and then well we'll use this which is that format and then time which is the date of now right so that's pretty much how we want it alright and so now we can save this and the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna pass the the function and we have to pass it to the book model so say uh, post book then we'll have post book once again so now we will be able to so we're passing it as props right 
So now we will be able to use it once we go to the model. In here, we need to say props. So we're going to create a function which is going to be called uh, handle submit. And that's where we're going to be using the, um, the post uh, book. Uh, let me just see that everything is correct. Yes. All right. So we'll just say handle submit. And then once again, all right. So we'll say a uh, post book and then. So we're just passing the book details, right? All right. So I forgot that we have to say it's in a sync call. So that's how you do it. And then, um, then we're going to change the state of book details. to this state here, right? Another thing that we want to pass here is handle close so that we can close the model after we after we do the submission. And here we want to set it to the initial state, which is this one here, right? So right now, let me see, so like I'm just going to leave it the way it is and then I'll show you uh, what I want to change. So the last thing that we want to do is come here and where it says on click, we're going to change it to handle so we're going to change handle close to ha for handle submit and we don't need the handle close anymore because once we submit we're all we're closing the the model anyways and i'm showing you that here handle close let me uh, get rid of this one all right so let's save it and let's uh let's try it so once you come to add book so let's say that you want to add a new book so we'll just say the martian I don't know the author, so we'll just say uh, Matt Damon. I know he's not the author. Let me just pick like a random date here. Blah, blah, blah. All right. And then we'll just hit submit. So once we submit, you can see that something happened. Something broke. All right. So let me just check to make sure that we're doing everything correctly here. Might have been the book details, maybe. I mean the submission was successful so if you come here you see that it was submitted so that works but it's just breaking the the app let's see what happened all right so I think it's because this set book details I think we have to change that so that's what I wanted to show you so so we want to set this to the initial state which won't have any anything right anyways so what what I want to do here is I'm just going to create like an initial state for our book details. And this is just going to have these fields here. And then we're just going to set this to the initial init state, which is the initial state. So we're just doing the same thing, but this is now here, right? And then, um, yeah, so after we submit, what I want to say is that, you know, we're going to set the book details to the initial state which is going to be this so the form is going to be clear now so now it should work so if we come here just say the well so it was refreshing so we say um uh, space odyssey or something like that right so blah 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 say stanley k book whatever so now that when, when we say submit so now it didn't crash. And if you go to add book, you can see that this got, uh, it got cleared, right? So now we don't have anything in the fields. And that's because we set the set book details to the initial state, which is uh, the initial state is, it has nothing. It has like just the fields. All right, so that's what we wanted. And um, so it works. So if you go to Firestore, you can see that we have submitted another book and it's here, it says Stanley K space so that's the one that we just submitted so it's not showing here right on the main page so we have to refresh it so that it shows and you'll see how it appears so we want that behavior to be automatic so the last thing that we're going to take care of is we're going to ba go back to app.js and here we'll say we'll just call the fetch uh, books function so that it's going to refresh every time we submit all right so now let's save it and let's try it one more time. So if you go to add book and we say, uh, I don't know, sapiens, All right? Species or whatever. All right. So now when we submit, uh, it should, the main page uh, should refresh by itself. 
and see it already like you didn't even notice it already appeared here so that's pretty much how we want it and that's how you submit books so right now uh, we already so we have the books here see uh, oh that's not it that's not it and and you can see the timestamp see it has like a different timestamp for all of them so August 2nd and then you know it has like the the timestamp and all of that and you know it's arranged in that way that's why we needed the 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 posted on uh, field and the last thing that I would like to show you is that let's say uh, that we come here right and we don't do this formatting and we just leave it at time right so once again that's gonna work but then it's gonna submit the the book and it's gonna give you the posted on uh, field it's gonna be just in milliseconds so I'm just gonna type um, something here really quick test test so once we submit this, just watch how it was submitted. So if you come here, you look for that one, which it was uh, this one. So see how it got submitted. So like the posted on field, it's uh, this is in milliseconds. So this is the time of now, but it's in milliseconds. So you don't want that. So just go back to app.js and it's just uh, keep what we had. So that's why the formatting is important as well. All right, so I think that wraps it up for this tutorial. For the next one, I think it's going to be the last one. And for that one, I'm just going to uh, show you how to create a model to see the details of the books. And that would be it. So if you're um, enjoying the series and if you like it, just uh, share it with others. Uh, you know, tell other people, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.